So you say you never get sick, huh? Afraid that the flu shot will actually give you the flu? Thinking you have to make a doctor's appointment? National renowned health expert Dr. Jennifer Cottle has heard all the excuses for not getting a flu shot, and she's with us today to try and debunk some of the common flu myths. Dr. Cottle, welcome. Thank you so much. So tell us right away, why should people get those flu shots now instead of waiting until there's an actual flu outbreak? Well, this is a really important time to get the flu vaccine. Um, our, our flu season really goes from October until May, but it's important to get that flu vaccine as soon as possible in the season. In fact, the CDC recommends getting the flu shot before the end of October. Uh, and that's for everyone over the ages of six months who qualify for the vaccine. This is particularly important because we want to get protected before we encounter the virus out in the community, but also because it takes about two weeks for that flu shot to give us immunity. So the earlier really is better here. So you got to give that time so that it actually works. What are some of the common yes, misconceptions exactly right. about the flu and flu shots in general? Well, you mentioned a few in the opening, and I think you're absolutely right. A, a lot of people say to me as a family doctor, they say, oh, uh, it, you know, last time I got the flu shot, it, it gave me the flu. Well, uh, it's actually not the case. The flu shot cannot give you the flu. I know a lot of people are concerned about that. They're concerned about getting sick, but the flu shot contains a killed virus, so it's not able to give you infection. Um, the other thing that people sometimes think is that, oh, well, I've never gotten a flu shot before and I've been fine, or I'm pretty healthy, I don't need one. And the thing about that is that, remember the flu shots for people six months and older, there are people who are not able to get the flu shot, little babies that are infants, or people with certain medical conditions. So the more of us that gets our flu shot, not only does it help us stay protected, but it also helps those who are more vulnerable. So it's really important to get. I think you touched on it, but that's exactly what I was going to ask you. For those people that say, I never get sick, it is important for them to get this flu shot. It really, really is. And I'm always so happy to hear when people don't get sick. And the idea is we want to keep you healthy. We want to keep you from getting sick. Um, and getting the flu shot is actually one of the best ways to protect against the flu vaccine, excuse me, the flu virus. Now, I know when I was expecting, that was one of the things that the doctor told me right away, is that you have to get your flu shot. They told my husband he had to get his flu yes. shot. And then, honestly, we sort of fell off. We made sure that our daughter got her flu shot. But parents sometimes forget. Yeah. What would you say to the parents that yeah. are making sure that they're doing it for their kids, for their toddlers, but they might sometimes forget for themselves? Well, what the scenario you just mentioned is not very uncommon. It happens a lot. You're absolutely right about that. I think oftentimes busy parents just really get caught up in taking care of their kids, may not be thinking about themselves, or it just slips their mind. But I always suggest to, to kind of make getting the flu shot a family affair. Um, and, and also it helps model good behavior. So when you talk to your kids about getting the flu shot and parents are getting it, I think it also really sort of reinforces this idea with kids. And, and keep in mind, you don't even have to go to a doctor's office to get your flu vaccine. You can go into pharmacies. You know, Rite Aid, for example, they have immunizing pharmacists who can give you the shot and you don't even need an appointment. So it can be a family affair. It can be fun. Um, and, and it also, by parents getting that shot, it really models good behavior for their little ones. That's wonderful to hear. And we know that every single year, there's always a different sort of flu shot that's on the market and you hope that it's more effective. Yeah. This year's flu shot, is it known to be more effective or don't we know yet? So we have a lot of different types of flu shots, the trivalent and the quadrivalent, and one for older people and one for people who have egg allergies, et cetera. Um, I still think the verdict is out to see what this flu season is going to shape up to be like and how effective our vaccines are. Um, but, you know, that's why I say we're at the beginning of the season. This is the time to go out and get the shot. And we'll get more information as we, as we go along in, in the weeks to come. Absolutely. Better to get it and just be on the safe side, right? <laughs> And be safe. Yes, yes, absolutely. 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 Well, thank you so much for your time. And we will be right back happy and healthy with more Midday Maryland.